We are tracking the major developments. We start as we often do. Yes, uh, we're looking forward to a weekend in a lot of ways, but it's a lot of pain going on around this country. Of course, certainly the weather, but also we are in this pandemic. So here are the numbers. 110.3 million cases diagnosed around the world. Numbers, of course, continue to go up as we report them to you every day. And here in the U.S., 27.8 million cases and then that staggering death toll mm. 493,000 American lives lost and want to bring in our ABC News uh, contributor and emergency medicine physician Dr. Darian Sutton. Dr. Sutton always good to have you with us uh, on this Friday and for Dr. Ashton of course today how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are y'all doing? We're doing great. I mean, I don't know if anyone's doing as good as TJ, but uh, we're trying to follow his uh, lead right here. All right, let's talk about some of this data we are seeing, Dr. Sutton, because there is some good news, some sparks of hope. We're seeing cases falling, hospitalizations down uh, nearly 50% in the last month. So are we seeing the light at the end of the tunnel? Why this decline? Well, these numbers are certainly encouraging, and I can tell y'all from my own personal clinical experience in the past two weeks, I've seen less and less cases of symptomatic COVID-19, and scientists are trying to figure out exactly why, and they boiled it down to four main points. The first is behavior. Mobility data is showing that people are hunkering down and staying close to their homes, especially after the holiday period. The second is seasonality. Uh, prior data from other coronaviruses has shown in the past that we typically see peaks between January and February, and we know that most viruses are most virulent during this time, but scientists are not sure exactly why. It could be due to cold and dry weather or that holiday behavior or a combination of both. And the third is partial immunity. Currently, the CDC estimates that approximately 20 to 30 percent of American adults have been infected by COVID-19. And we know that those infected are less likely to become reinfected. But of course, we're still trying to figure out the longevity of that immune protection. And the last and final are vaccines. Uh, vaccines are being rolled out. And we know and early data is suggesting that we're, uh, vaccines are helpful in preventing symptomatic cases of COVID-19, as well as hospitalizations and deaths. But of course, we're still waiting on peer reviewed data to confirm that. Yes, tempered optimism. We'll take it at least. Uh, Dr. Sutton, thanks so much for being with us. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.